She is a child of books. She came from a world of stories. And upon her imagination, she floats. She has sailed across a sea of birds to ask if you will come away with her. Some people have forgotten where she lives. But along these words, she can show you the way. They will travel over mountains of made leaf. Lose themselves in forest of fairy tales. Monsters in hunted castles. They will sleep in clouds of song. And shout as loud as they like in space. But then, after all the beauty that they had seen, and all the places they've been, the child of books and the boy still feel somewhat empty. When at last, in their lowest and darkest time, they are about to discover something far more than the beauty of their imaginations. A treasure quite different from all that they've read, shining beyond darkness, reaching even the depths of their hearts. It's the book where the word is alive, creating worlds and stories of truth and life. And it is the only book that tells the story of a love like they've never known and a promise of eternity. Soon, the child of books and the boy followed the author. because of all the books they have found and read. There was only one that gave them eternal life and salvation.